All right, uh, let's look at the homework 10, uh, problem number 16. All right, so let's evaluate this uh, following a uh, definite integral. All right, all right, here I'm going to I'm going to use the uh, substitution. So here I'm going to let uh, u to be this uh, power here, u equals negative x squared. All right, so I'm going to let u be uh, negative x squared. All right. So I'm going to go through uh, uh, the usual drills. Uh, so we're going to take the derivative of u uh, with respect to the original variable x, uh, which is going to give us a negative 2x. Right? Then I'm going to uh, take the reciprocal of both sides. So basically put those guys upside down. So dx over du is equal to uh, 1 over negative 2x, right? Then uh, we're going to uh, multiply through by du so that uh, we have an expression for dx. So it's going to be a du over negative 2x. All right. Another thing we need to do is, uh, since this is a definite integral, we need to do a conversion of the lower limit and the upper limit. So originally, so x is the original variable, right? Then it goes from lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 1, right? We have to convert it to the new variable, the values of the uh, new variable u, right? But this is easy to do because all you have to do is put the uh, value into the substitution equation. So when x equals 0, uh, negative 0 squared is still 0. So u is going to be 0. Then upper limit 1, if you plug in 1, uh, negative 1 squared would be negative 1. All right. So we can rewrite this uh, definite integral as, all right, you're going from 0 to negative 1. All right. 0 to negative 1. All right. It feels kind of weird that, uh, you know, upper limit is smaller than lower limit, but the, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, then you have, I'm going to just leave x as it is, all right? Then we have e to the, right? So you use the substitution u, all right? Then dx, remember that the expression dx shows up right here. So we can just uh, plug that guy in here, so which is uh, d, so which is here. So it's a du over negative 2x. Right, and the good thing is there's an x on top and there's an x on the bottom, so you can cancel them out. And that we have a one over negative two. Right, since this is just a number, we can place it right outside. So I'm going to maybe I'm going to go here. So you have a negative one over two. Right, that's just a number. Pull it out. And then you're going from 0 to negative 1, right? Then what's left is uh, e to the u, uh, which is right here. And another thing we have is du, right? All right. So you don't have to do this uh, if you want, uh, if you don't want to. But uh, since uh, we, we know that... Uh, we can incorporate this negative sign to switch the lower limit and upper limit. And again, you don't have to do this, but uh, it, it'll make it look a little bit simpler. So I'm going to do it. So one half is still there, but uh, you can switch the lower limit and upper limit then we inco by incorporating a negative sign. So it's going to be negative 1 to 0. Then you have an e to the u, du. All right. So this is going to be equal to, so one half is still going to be there. All right, so this is the, the nice part. Antiderivative e to the u with respect to u is just a e to the u. All right, antiderivative, right? Then you're going from negative 1 to 0. And using the fundamental theorem of calculus, what you do is you plug in the top number first. So you have a e to the 0. Can I write 1? e to the 0 is 1, right? So 1 minus, 
plug in negative 1. So it's a e to the negative 1. All right. So that's the answer. So let's uh, type it in. All right. So uh, we wanted to type this in, uh, but the, we need to get uh, three decimal places. So uh, here's the handy dandy calculator here. All right. So we're going to have uh, uh, one, uh, maybe, oops. All right. Maybe I'll do uh, um, uh, parentheses and uh, one minus. All right, e to the negative 1. So here is uh, e to the uh, negative 1. All right, and uh, we have to divide by 2, right? So I'm going to go ahead and divide by 2. All right, so this is the same thing, right? So if you turn it, uh, type in, all right? So it's going to be 0 0.316, all right? So let's type it in. All right, uh, 0 0.316. All right, let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.